I think we can all agree that uh, Americans want to be respected in the world. And to have that, we need to have a leader that's respectful. Um, and I feel like that's something everybody can agree on, no? <laughs> if Trump was elected, I would uh, feel shame in the country. And I would feel embarrassed for all of us. Uh, and that would affect me tremendously because I am born and raised in Puerto Rico but came here by choice and I would hate to uh, have to leave on my own volition because I can't be part of a country that Trump is the head of. <sighs> I get a lot of clients as a writer, uh, products on shelves and stuff like that, but when we got the opportunity to work for Emily's List for Hillary, it was a personal uh, victory for me to get to make a difference. I honestly feel like trying to get Hillary elected is saving the world against Trump. <laughs> I don't think women's rights uh, gets enough attention and I think uh, people are skirting it because they don't want to talk about Hillary being a woman uh, because they don't want that to be the reason people vote for her and I think women's rights should be a bigger deal this election I don't think it is um, and I think we have to do something about gun violence it makes me sick that Congress keeps voting things down um, so yeah I hope people uh, realize really soon that uh, what's at stake is kind of a really big deal uh, people don't realize the power the president can have. Uh, we get that question all the time. What's the big deal with Trump or Hillary? Uh, what power do they really have? And it's a lot, um, especially representing the United States on a global stage. Uh, so I hope people understand the gravity of this election and that not voting is a vote for Trump um, is a really, I think, important thing people don't realize.